Shortage of EMTs is really a problem right now all over the country, and it's also an issue right here in our state. So what's being done? Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aaron Edwards is joining us live right now with a closer look at the impact and a possible solution. Aaron. Mark, there's a shortage in almost every town in Connecticut right now, but tonight here in Rocky Hill, they did get 12 new EMT graduates. Uh, they will be working for Rocky Hill, Weathersfield, and Newington. They're there for you in a moment's notice. Every call you may lose a part of yourself and every call you may gain a little bit more of yourself. And while working as an EMT is a difficult job, it's rewarding. That's why Robert Pelletier has been doing it for more than 10 years. I just remember as a kid when I used to see the ambulance go by, my whole world would stop. But right now, there's a critical shortage. It's being felt across the country and right here in Connecticut. When COVID came out and everybody running away from the field the way they did and the shortages that we had, it became almost an issue of, are we going to have anybody that's out there to help our family members? We have three communities that could use help and, and we need to be there for them. Tonight, Rocky Hill, Weathersfield and Newington graduated 12 EMTs in a combined class. This is the first time we have a tri-town collaborative effort. It was just something we wanted to do, and again, the shortage. You know, we're, Weathersfield, Rocky Hill, we're all struggling to get employees. We're all struggling to get volunteers. But training officers say this class gives them hope. I see that, that passion, and there hasn't been that passion in a long time. I've always had the interest of helping people. Mark Carpio graduated from EMT last year. On his very first call, he helped save a man who went into cardiac arrest. Volunteering, it's just, it fills that, that hole in your heart, and it's just something that I continue to plan on doing forever and ever. Now, if you're interested in becoming an EMT, there will be a new class in the fall here in Rocky Hill, Weathersfield, and Newington. We're live in Rocky Hill, Aaron Edwards, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Aaron, thank you. Now to the very latest on the coronavirus.